Joey Allen, Warren, lead guitar. I think something born with me, but just that love for music and, you know, like to entertain. I've got two older sisters. When they would leave, I would take the records as a young kid and put them on the, on the turntable and play them and just, I just love music. Uh, my name is Chris Evans, and I'm in the Hanna Barbera. I haven't been here for more than like a, but about a year and a half, and there's a big music scene uh, really building, not just in Denton, but Fort Worth and Dallas. I'd just like to ask anybody out there, would you work for free? And most people would probably say no. You know, if it's something like for a charity, if, if somebody said, hey man, can you put 10 hours in this week and help some of these I'd say absolutely, you know. I think illegal downloads, is, is, I just think it's horrible. I think you're basically stealing property from people. And I think that people should get paid for their hard work, especially if it's a creative, you know, aspect, because that's the only way people can make money. You can make a lot more money being a do-it-yourself band, no label or anything, through the internet. I mean, the internet's how we promote. The fact that you can be heard by so many, as opposed to you're either on top or you're on bottom. Touring, making a new record, which we just did, comes out in May, is a marketing expense now. It's not anything that, like, we didn't make the record thinking, we're gonna sell a million copies like we did before, you know? Um, so basically the way we make money now is touring. So the, making the music is the vehicle to tour. It can be tough, um, obviously the, the old, to, old fashioned way. But uh, I mean, we go back as far as doing pressing vinyls, um, merchandise, CD albums, iTunes, um, you know, all that. Uh, clubs and bars and venues are very, very supportive especially in the Metroplex we found out. If we make it happen, you're not making too much money, but you're making just enough to get by. And you know, um, yeah. eventually, eventually we think it, it definitely pays off. There's such teamwork effort in making a record, selling a record, promoting a record. Just the support of having, uh, having all these venues just throwing this and that for us. Where do you go buy a CD anymore, right? Best Buy. I remember whenever, you know, uh, say 88 to 94, even whenever CDs were coming out and everything, there was just no, I mean, you were waiting in line to get the next big CD at a Hastings Music, and th that kind of stuff is definitely missed as far as uh, it goes with the internet. MTV, you know, doesn't want to see a bunch of 46-year-old guys that have sold 10 million records 20 years ago on, on, on there. So basically what you do, like I said before, is you use a CDs, a marketing tool, and you just tour, 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 tour. Music saves lives. If you're good at it, it can really, really pay off. There's guys out there that are on their game that don't have drug and alcohol problems, um, you know, and that write good songs. Good songs go a long way. And just stick to what you love to do because it'll, it'll you know, it proves itself. If you do what you love to do, you're happy, shows, people around you get it, survive, you know. So just uh, stay sober and, and, uh, and try to kick the guy's ass next to you, you know.